project conversion. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your projects from version 8 to version 9. As you can see here, I have my version 9 installed on my local computer, local host, the port is 8090, and I have also my script case 8 installed on the same computer, but with a different port, it's 8081. I can have the two versions on the same computer, there's no problem because they are using different ports. So what I want to do, I want to convert my project from version 8 to version 9. So let's check here on my version 8. I have a couple of projects here and I'm going to convert these projects to version 9. Before I start the conversion process, I'm going to show you here where the versions are installed. My version 8 is installed inside program files 86. You will find a folder called NetMake and then I have here my version 8.1. My version 9, uh, I did the automatic installation for 64 bits and for this reason Windows will place the folder inside program files. So if I go here, I can find again the folder NetMake and version 9. So I have both versions on the same PC. Uh, let's start the conversion process. I will log here inside my version 9. I also have a couple of projects here. Uh, the conversion process is different from the export and import process. The conversion process will do a copy of your project and also update all the libraries and functions, everything we did from one version to another. So you cannot only go to version 8, export your project and then go to version 9 and import. This is not correct because we are talking about different versions. So the process to convert is you go to Tools, then you find the menu Converters, and here you have the three versions from where you can convert to version 9. You can convert projects from version 6 to version 9, from version 7 to version 9, and also to version 8 to version 9. Please note that inside version 7 you have also version 7.1, and inside version 8 you have also version 8.1. If you have a project from version 5, for example, then you need to bring this project to version 6, and then from version 6 to version 9, okay? so. The 6 will be the minimum version that you can convert to version 9. So we are going to convert our projects from version 8. I'm going to choose here version 8. And here script case will request the path where you have your version 8. So the conversion process will make a copy, or, uh, will make a copy of your project, as I said. Uh, it will copy the database and update uh, all the functions and libraries, everything according to the new version. Inside the version 9, we had a very important change about the PHP version. We have now version 7 inside script case 9. Uh, for version 8, we had version PHP uh, 5.6, so there is also the conversion of the functions for the new PHP, but this process is only made for uh, script case automatic op options. So if you have done some uh, codes or routines inside script case events, inside script case blank application, it will not be converted. You have to convert by yourself. So if you are using a PHP function that's not being used anymore for PHP 7, uh, you have to check your code and do the conversion by your own. The script case will only convert the automatic applications, everything created uh, by script case, okay? It's very important to note that if you are converting your project with many codes done by yourself, you have to review and check if these codes are working uh, within the PHP 7 version. So let's start here the project. I will find where my script case 8 is installed. So let's go to the folders. I'll go again to the script case 8 folder NetMake. And then inside www.root, uh, the folder script case, here's where I have my script case 8 files. I'm going to copy here the complete path and inform here. Click next. It's going to ask me if the database is on the same server or in a different server. In this case, we have the database on the same server, so let's just click convert. Okay, so here is script case is listing uh, all the projects. I have five projects. Four projects I have only inside script case 8, and there is one project, Bookshop, that I have inside script case 8 and script case 9. Okay, so I'm going to choose here only two projects to convert. I will choose appointments and online shop. And for the Bookshop, I have the option to keep inside version 9 just in the way it is, or I can also convert and overwrite. 
So we are talking about the same project, but you need to be careful here. So you will uh, override your uh, project that you have. I can convert and override, or I can just keep in the way it is. Okay, let's keep in the way it is and convert. So the, the conversion will take uh, a bit long depending on how big is your project. So you just leave it there and wait uh, until it finishes. So let's wait the project conversion. Okay, so uh, conversion process is finished. We can now see everything that was converted from version eight to version nine. We have two new projects now inside our version nine. Let's edit and I will log on again. And we can see that we now have the appointments and the online shop inside our version nine. And I'm able to play with this project using the new features from version nine. So it's important to note that the conversion is just a copy. It will not bring the new features to your project. This is up to the developer. So if you want to add any uh, new feature to your project, you need to go project, uh, project by project, application by application, apply uh, the new features because sometimes script case will not do it for you. It's a decision uh, for the developer. Okay, so I'm going to show you one example of how you can apply uh, a new feature to your uh, script case 9 project converted from script case 8. So let's go here to this appointments. You will note that uh, the applications are outdated because it's just converted. You need to generate the source code again to have it updated. Uh, so let's run here a grid application and you will see that uh, it is uh, still using uh, the original team from version 8. What if I want to change this team for all the project? How can I do? Uh, first, I need to add the script case 19 to the project, and then I'll have to apply the new team to all the applications. So let's go back here. I will open uh, projects, properties. This is where I can go back to the initial, uh, to the initial properties and then uh, add a new team, a new locale, for example. So go here to the option teams. I'm going to look for a script case nine new team. I'm going to move it to my project. So I have now the new team imported to my project. I will set as default. So from now on, every application I create uh, will use this new team. But for the previous applications, I will have still uh, the old team. So how can I change for all the applications at the same time? I will save here. Uh, and then I'm going to access the option Tools, uh, Express Edit. And here I can do some Express Edition for script case uh, application. So we can change a couple of options for all the project at the same time. So let's uh, select all the applications. And I'm going to choose here what I want to uh, edit. In this case, we want to add the team. So let's choose the team option. Next. And here uh, it is going to show me uh, the options I have in the project level and in the script case level. So let's choose the new team and apply. It's now changed. I have the new team applied for all my applications. I will finish and go back to my project. Open the same grid application again and check. Okay, we can see now that we have uh, the new team, we can compare. This is the old one, this is the new one. So I have this team apply it to all my applications. What I need to do uh, to update my applications now is uh, to generate the source code. I have two options. I, um, I can display all the applications, uh, check here and select uh, generate, or I can go to project, generate source code, choose all applications and generate. So once I finish the generation, my project will be fully converted with the new team. And then you can go uh, application per application testing if everything is okay. If you have any coding to review, uh, you need to check your functions, as I said before. So it's important to note that the script case is just going to do a copy. So it's going to be uh, the same project as you have inside version eight. And then when you bring it to version nine, you will have to apply the new features according to your need or to your customer's need. Okay, so this is the conversion process. So we did here the automatic process. Okay, we had the two versions on the same computer. 
If you have your script case 8 or any other version in a different computer, the process will be a little bit different. You have to copy a script case folder from your uh, script case 8, install it in another server. You have to bring to the same PC where you have script case 9, then you will do the same process. If the database is SQLite, which is the default one from script case, the process will be similar. But if you have a different database, uh, script case is going to show you a new interface for you to set the database uh, options. We have a tutorial where you can see all the steps for installation and then also for conversion. So if you have it in a different server, this is the interface that script case is going to show you for you to set the database and then the process will be the same. Okay. Our technical support is available to help you if you need help during this conversion process. Uh, you can contact us anytime. So thank you very much for watching this video. See you next time. Bye bye.